caught on camera. Watch as a dirt bike rider stomps out the back windshield of a car right near City Hall with children inside that car. Tonight, the driver who confronted the armed dirt bike rider is speaking out. Now, that video captured by a tourist is shocking. It's made the rounds on social all day. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. Outraging so many of us. I'm Sheba Russell. At one point, that biker headbutted the mom who was driving that car and pointed a gun to her face. She spoke with our Steve Keeley just moments ago. When we came around the turn, he sideswiped the front of my car and like his bike fell over or whatever. So he got mad and he was like arguing with me like we were arguing back and forth because he hit the car. So after that, like his friend in front of me, he was arguing with me. And while I'm arguing with his friend, he jumped off the bike, jumped on the back of the car and just kicked the windshield in. So now I just jumped out and I just kept arguing with him. Did you see the gun? I didn't see it hit the floor at all until he picked it up and he was like, whatever. I was like, man. Was he pointing it at you or threatening you with his gun? Yeah, he pointed at me. He was like, he was like, I couldn't even hear what he was saying. I was just screaming at him. I couldn't hear anything he was saying. Like, I literally was just screaming at him. So he was like, he whatever he pointed at me, then he put it away, put it away. And then I was like, whatever, shoot me then. You're not going to shoot me. And then he headbutted me with the helmet. And then we were just going back and forth after that. I saw what was happening, and I was shocked. And it's crazy that... Somebody just gets into an argument, smashes somebody's window, and then is putting a gun in their face. Sophia and George really did have front row seats to this. Watching and recording from the top level and front row of a double-decker sightseeing bus at a red light next to Philadelphia City Hall at Market Street at 9 p.m. Sunday night. Two of the many motorcycles go up next to the driver of the car in front, have words when the second biker gets off, jumps on the trunk of the car, and stomps on the back window with one foot first, then crashes it in with both feet. And then his gun falls out of his pants as he hops off the car, threatens her, then headbutts her with the visor of his helmet. He then gives her a hard shove to the chest as he puts the gun back in his waistband. But she doesn't back down and shoved him off his motorcycle as his fellow riders then came to his side. We're checking out all the sights, running up the rocky steps, and then we start to see all the motorcycles around. We pull up to City Hall, we're at a red light, and then I just start filming all the motorcycles driving by. When this guy gets into an argument and then jumps on the back of this lady's car with two kids in the back, shatters the glass all over them, then points a gun in her face. I saw that he jumped on the car, and as he was getting off the car, the gun fell out of his pants. And so he reached to get the gun, and then he pointed it at her. I know that the kids had glass all over them, which is, which is really dangerous. And I'm just sitting there thinking, shoot, are we gonna get hit by a bullet? Is someone gonna die right now? I have a lot of people messaging me, trying to send me money and go fund me. People are trying to make me go fund me pages and whatnot. I have multiple auto shops like glass shops that have reached out to me. And George Colony had mixed emotions about whether or not to post this video because he was worried how it would be taken, but he was very happy to hear that outpouring of offers she mentioned to help Nikki. By the way, her five-year-old daughter, two-year-old son, who were in the back seat when that window got stomped in on their heads, essentially, were not hurt miraculously, and neither was she. And yes, she has spoken to Philly police, who has posted stills of this, and she wants to see an outpouring of tips, too, to see the guy arrested and charged. Sheba Jason? Yeah. Somebody needs to find this guy, and it makes you think. I mean, if we have kids in our car, are we supposed to be putting kids on board signs on the back of all of our cars? And there were police officers in the area, too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, remains to be seen why they didn't help. Steve, have you looked into that? Yeah, they were on the side, and they didn't see her. They okay. pulled up on the side of the bus, so they had no idea what was happening. Remember, there's a lot of noise at 9 last night, mm -hmm. so they had no idea. They would have certainly uh, got that guy or went after the guy down Market Street, so they probably didn't know uh, anything had happened because there's no sign of anything happening at that point because they do see a lot of bikers, and in fact, Nikki says she supports the bike culture. She just hopes and wishes that they would follow the law, and the police will tell you off the record for sure, but I can tell you, hundreds of police will tell you, they are handcuffed in this case. They are told not to chase these bikers and not to do much about them, mm -hmm. and that's why we have what we have right now. Maybe it's time to revisit that.
Yeah. All right, Steve, thank you very much.